Welcome back to redheart.com as well as the crochet crowd. I'm your host Mikey and today's special five part series for Red Heart, what we have going on is five different unique stitches. Now all of these exist within one particular project and it's called the Holiday Cable Throw and it's a free pattern. I'll provide the link for the more information of that. So why did I do five videos instead of one? The reality is, is that all of five of these stitches can be used independently of each other. So as we go throughout the series, you're going to be able to learn the specific stitch that you have. So today's uh, tutorial series, we're going to be learning the front ridge. We're going to be learning cables, arrow stitch, the woven stitch, as well as the Celtic weave. Now the Celtic weave is what caught my attention on this afghan in the beginning and from that I've been able to learn. In actual reality, I've been running the crochet crowd for six years and I'm still learning new stitches. So when we come back, we're going to start off with our In this tutorial, we're going to explore the cable stitch here and this is what it's showing right here. So along with the front ridges that we have just done, which is part number one, this is part number two, then you can see how they work together in order to create a really three-dimensional effect. Now you'll notice that with the particular pattern that we're using today is that the cables all look like they're on the same angle. So that just happens to be. You should also know that the cables are not appearing on the other side. So it's completely flat on the other side. So you can use this kind of stitch if you wanted to do something with the item of clothing. You just got to make sure that you're on the right side of the project in order for people to see it, right? So let's uh, begin to explore the cable stitch. So the basic gist of the cable stitch is that you do have to worry about the number of sets of stitches to begin with because the cables uh, go so many distances in order to make sure that they align with each other. So if you're doing this from scratch and wanting to do um, cables, you should know that it's in sets of four. So what you want to do is you chain one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And at the end of your chain, when you've decided that it's long enough, just add another two chains in order to make the pattern work. So this is what we have going on right here. So to begin, I'm going to show you how to do this. This is actually really simple, but a little bit time consuming. I'm not going to lie about that, but it looks so amazing. Let's begin to do our cabling. So we're just going to continue along with the project. Here is the front ridge. And to begin the cabling, we're going to start off with the chaining of one. And we're going to come back into the first stitch with a single crochet. And this is where the fun is about to begin. So in order to do the cabling, we have to start skipping stitches along here, but also creating chain work. So let's begin. We're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And what we're going to do is that skip two of the next stitches and come into the third and we're going to single crochet. So now you have what appears to be a loop coming out of your work. Now you're going to turn the work. Yes, that's right. Turn the work and you're going to single crochet along this chain in the chain, not around the chain. So just go around and because you've done three chains, there is going to be three single crochets. Now here's the thing. You want to make sure that you're consistent with it. So if you're going to grab two strands when you go to crochet, then grab two strands. If you're only going to grab one, only grab one and be consistent about it. So you're just going to single crochet. I have to say it's easier to do with one strand than it is two. So then it will speed you up. So what you want to just do is just single crochet three times. Okay, so one into each one of those. And in this one here, the starting one, you're going to want to do a slip stitch like this. And so there is part of it so far. So when we come back, I'm going to show you something else. So I've left you here, but now we have to go back in this direction from the way that we're supposed to be going. So to do that, we're going to turn the project and how you turn the project makes complete sense and the way that this strand operates. So if you're going to start turning it in all different directions, you're going to end up with the cabling looking like it's all twisted up. So notice how I'm, t I'm turning it, okay? So I've come along and I'm turning it. So I want to turn it like this. Okay, so do you notice how the strand stays on the other side? If I turn it in the other direction, the strand will come up over top of the cabling and then force it down. So we want to make sure then that makes sense, just like so. So right now that's wrong. So I want to make sure I turn it the other way so that the strand is on the other side, the back side. Now we skipped over two of the chains or two of the of stitches and those are the two that we're going to put one single crochet in each. Once you do this, this is going to force that cabling to kind of sit down. So you're going to single crochet one and the next one is empty and you're going to single crochet twice. So the next stitch that's along here is when you did your chaining of three. 
okay, and you, and you single crochet. So you immediately wanna skip that, but here's the thing. Let's start your next cable. So we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And when we come back here, we notice that this comes down to this one here. So this one's full and we immediately just count the next two that are empty and go into the third. And we single crochet. Okay, so we've left two empty as you can see. We turn our work, okay, and we're going to single crochet three times within the chain. So just each one of those chains are going to get one single crochet. This takes a bit of getting used to. I'm not going to deny that. So let's turn our work and see how I'm turning it this way. If you go the other way, it's going to twist up your work. So I'm going the other way and we come back down on the stitches where there's two empties and put in one single crochet into each. And what this is doing is that it's causing this to lift up, which is what you want. So let's begin again. So your first cable is now done and we're ready to start another. So what we're just going to immediately do is just chain three. One, two, and three. We look back down onto the stitches that we see and we just count and miss two. So go to the third and single crochet. We turn our work. See how I'm turning the work? It makes a difference in how to keep the stitches organized. You're going to single crochet uh, three times into that chain. Okay, so not into the gapping space but into the chain and then you're going to slip stitch to the fourth one over. Okay, so if you've got three here, this is just a slip stitching here and then immediately you're going to turn your work again and we're going to come back down to the chain or down to the stitches and just single crochet one into the remaining each of the two. Okay, so here we go. Let's start another one. So one, two, and three come back down. You can see one, two, let's go to the third. Single crochet. Turn your work. Let's go along this chain again. So we're just going to go three times. One, two, and three. We slip stitch into that first one right here. We turn the work. See how I'm not turning it the other way? You've got to keep turning it in a way that it doesn't get stuck or this the strand doesn't make sense and you single crochet into the remaining two. And you do that all the way along. You see how beautiful that looks. So let's start another one. One, two, and three. Okay, we immediately skip two, go to the third. Go to the third for a single crochet and then turn your work, single crochet along the chain. So I find with myself when I was doing this, you do get into a rhythm. You don't forget the slip stitch like that. And then we come back, turn it, come back down to the chain of the two of single crochet into each one of the one that you're missing. And two, just like so. And then at the very end, on the very final stitch, you're just going to want to put one single crochet. So you cannot do the cabling going back in the other direction because it's going to be on the wrong side. So usually on this side, they are going to have you do some stitches and I'm going to show you what that is in order to keep it in balance. So when we're looking at the other side, we want to keep it in balance so that we can keep all the stitches equal. The problem is, is that every third stitch is in the way of the cabling. So we have to compensate for that when we're going to do this. So what we're going to do to start up a, a row, you're just going to chain one first and you're going to single crochet into the first. The next one, you're going to put two single crochets in. Okay, two. And then the next one that you see is going to be one. So it's going to be two, one, two, one. So once you get this first section done, there's only going to be two stitches in between each one of the cabling. And because there should be three and only two, one of them is immediately going to get two every time. So the first one will always be one. The second one will always be two when you're working with one cable in behind. Okay, so then we just immediately come to the next one, one and two. So that second one is compensating for this where this cable would be. You go one and two. And then the final one is on the other side here and basically it is just one 
um, single crochet right into the final. So you can begin to do your cabling again once you turn your work and you can have this really amazing look. So this is how you would do cables. Until next time, I'm Mikey on behalf of RedHeart.com as well as the Crochet Crowd. Join me next time in this five part series for the Aero Stitch.